Hey, what is going on guys? Pablo here today. As you can tell, I'm playing some COD 4, and I'm really sorry that I haven't uploaded in the past two days, I'm pretty sure. I just, I really wasn't motivated to edit anything. Because the fact is, every time I seem to edit something, something like ends up happening, like the file gets corrupt, or when I render, it ends up freezing, and stuff like that, and it's just really been frustrating. I got to the point where I just really could not be bothered, so... What I've decided to do is I just decided to take like you know a two day break. Oh, it was originally going to be three, but I was literally just going to make a bunch of videos like I've done at the moment. At the moment, I made like three videos. It's like my fourth. You will see the other videos up on my channel tomorrow and probably the next day. I've made two videos for my second channel. I'm pretty sure like there's like two type vlog type videos. Or not one of them's a day. You know, well, it's not really going to be called a day, like because I'm going to do them quite a lot. Kind of like behind the scenes of when I did my behind the scenes on how COD YouTubers make the cutcoms or videos or whatever. And um, yes, yeah, so that should be out soon. And then another one is something else that I'm not going to share with you. You're going to have to wait. I know guys that I was getting in the habit of the whole double upload. The thing is that that is quite stressful. I just don't think I could have done it to be honest. I know I've just blabbed on about that but today's video is actually a story. So this happened on Mother's Day and basically it's me and my old friend. Uh, so that makes it sound very old. This was before I moved here by the way. I think I, this happened when I was about eight because my brother was really really young. So I decided to go around my friend's house and he ended up telling me that he was going to this it's one of those playhouses type of places. He ended up saying that he was going there then his mum ended up inviting my family to come. So what happened was at first we went to his nan's. Then we stayed, th we went there for about an hour. Me and my friend didn't look like, because of where I was young, I used to love wrestling. Wrestling was the bomb. So I used to sit there, do wrestling with the figures. And then what we ended up doing is just completely destroying each other. This might sound really, really good. We wasn't, it wasn't those gay, like, hugging type fest. It was literally doing, like, the wrestling moves, like the RKO, the, like, the 619. Like, wrestling moves like that. It wasn't any, like, punching anything, and my connection is interrupting. Is it my connection or is it the host's? Please don't tell me that my connection is now freaking going off. So after we ended up doing some wrestling and stuff and after some injuries ended up happening, we ended up walking to this place and it wasn't even, it wasn't that big. It was quite big, but it wasn't as big as the usual sizes I'd say. I don't even know what a usual size would be, but it wasn't that big, let's just say. And I'm pretty sure I've just disconnected. So basically we got there, we obviously, me and my friend and Lobbock slowly going through everything. Wait, keep in mind, there was me, my older sister, my brother, my friend, friends, and his mum, my mum, and that was basically the squad. And it was a nice place to be fair, there was a, a not a bar, but where you get the sweets and the drinks and stuff. We got some of them, they were freaking beautiful. And um, we slowly, like, you know what you do as a kid, you get there, you go through everything, you just literally... First thing you go to is the balls. Then you go like to the slide. Then you go to like these little tube things. And then like you just do random things. You just carry on going around the place just to like get familiar with the place, you know? For when you're playing it or manhunt or something. I'm, I don't know. We were doing that. We ended up getting to these. They were pretty big. They were. Well, actually, wait. I'm trying to think because I was quite small. They were like. Oh, I need to show you guys. Like that big. They were, they were pretty big for when I was small. And basically, I had one. And my friend had one, and my sister had one. I think it was three balls all together. Yeah, me, my friend, me, and my sister were on one. One each. And, um, my brother wanted to go on one. And I said, and he was trying to get me off of it. I was like, no, Kieran, Kieran, just let me be. I'm I'm playing on these balls. Oh, that sounds really weird. I'm playing on this ball. Because it was, it was pretty fun. It was a big red ball, you know? You can't say no to playing with balls. But yeah, I was like... Kieran, please just let me let me be. And you know he wasn't having that. He wasn't having any of it. So you know what he decided to do? He started. To, he decided to walk back, have a massive run up, and just whoosh, just push me off. And you know those things are supposed to protect you from like falling or anything. It was like these little, these little like rope type bits. It was like down, and then they were all across and stuff. You know they're supposed to protect you. What I, just, what I ended up doing is I went flying and one, they were all like, they were all next to me and whatnot and um, I ended up like going straight onto one and then going like that and it ended up cutting like I think it's from here all the way across to here and it ended up cutting my head open and I didn't realise at first. Like I'd done it I felt like my, my head kind of hurt a bit but I got up and I was like Kieran what are, what are you doing? So I like pushed him off of it onto the floor 
And um, my sister and my friend ended up just staring at me in shock. They were like... And I was like, what? And they are like, your head. And I was like, what do you mean? And I kind of got... At this point, I felt really dizzy. Like, I felt like someone just completely knocked me out. And um, I, went, like, I just ended up going like that. And there was literally, my hand was soaked in blood. I had my best t-shirt on at the time, keep in mind. My best t-shirt. The t-shirt was absolutely greased. I can't think... I think it was black. Oh no, it was white. Yeah, it was white and it had this text on it. I think it might have been a tank top. Because, you know, when you're younger, you, you think you're alive and stuff. But it might have been a, ta a white tank top. So, I was there, just kind of covered my face. I felt like I was actually a wrestler at the time. Like, my face was drenched in blood. My shirt was drenched in blood. My hand was drenched in blood. And I literally, I said, Mom. And she was like, what? And I was like, my head. <laughs> and she was like, wait, what? And I like, there's this slide that you basically go down to get down and then out. Um, and I, I ended up like, when I was walking, I kind of flopped down the slide because I was completely knocked out. I couldn't really focus on anything. So I ended up like tripping over, flopping down the side, the slide. I didn't really hurt anything, by the way. I just flopped down the slide. I got up. Keep in mind, there was like, my blood was dripping whilst I was like at the top and then down the slide. And I walked out and I was like, Mom, and I, for an eight year old, this was pretty child. I was surprised I didn't cry or anything because when I was younger, I used to cry over the most pathetic things going. I went to my mum and she literally, they all just looked at me and they were just so shocked at what happened. And they were like, Oh my god, what happened? What happened? And then one of them was phoning the ambulance. The people that worked there was stressing out because of the fact that I just cut my head open in their fucking play area. It was actually pretty cool to be fair because I just people like dabbing me with paper and I said to my mum, literally the first thing I said to my mum when I was went over there I was like I ruined my shirt and she kind of laughed a bit but she was kind of like oh god is this kid gonna die? But um the ambulance soon came after like five, ten minutes, I'd say. They actually came pretty fast, to be fair. And it was a female. I'm pretty sure it was a female and a male that that came. And the female was the one that actually kind of sorted me out. The male was kind of like just there, I guess. Because obviously, like, guys respond to girls more and girls respond to guys more, I guess. It's usually like different, but, but I kind of like talked to the woman and said what happened and stuff. Like yeah, I didn't really talk to how I talked to now. Yeah. I, was, I was eight years old, but like in an eight-year-old way, I was talking to her. She ended up putting like, she ended up putting the bandage around my head and stuff. Um, after cleaning me up and stuff in the toilets. And um, my, my sh shirt was still drenched in blood, keep in mind. So I couldn't wear that, I had to take it off, and I think I just went and played naked. But yeah, that, right, keep in mind, that happened. But I actually owned the playhouse, was kind of like stressing out because of the fact that I did it, obviously. They obviously don't want to get a face coat closed down and whatnot. But it wasn't exactly their fault, to be fair. It was my brother's, I, I blame my brother for everything that goes on. But, um, yeah, once that ended up clearing up, and I felt slightly better after having like a bandage put around my head, we ended up getting free stuff. Like, the guys... Uh, who worked there ended up giving us a bunch of free stuff like two two days free passes I'm pretty sure for everyone free food why do you keep yawning but yeah they gave us all free ice cream crisps loads of like bags of sweets type thing like you know where you go and pick a mix like them sort of sweets bags of sweets actual like a dinner because I actually had dinner there I don't think my family did because of the fact that it happened to me a big bowl with ice cream oh my god and they got they let me choose what I wanted on it and mm, that was like the best time to cut my head open ever <laughs> like that sounds really weird the motto of the story is basically if your brother's there tell him to rugby tackle you into a pipe bleed get free stuff let's go hopefully you enjoyed the video Remember to give a bigger thumbs up. I'm sorry there's not really gameplay. So I hope you enjoyed, like I said. Remember to give a bigger thumbs up, subscribe, have a beautiful day, and peace!